Today we're reading uh, Mickey's Walt Disney World Adventure. I've had so much fun today, Mickey, exclaimed Minnie Mouse. There's so much to do here at Walt Disney World. The rides, the shops, the movies, and of course the yummy snacks. Oh, I've had fun too, Mickey said. I can't wait to lead the parade tonight. I'll get to wear my brand new drum major's hat. Oh yes, Minnie said. You look great in that new hat, Mickey. Why don't you try it on right now? Oh, well that's a good idea, Mickey answered. I have right. Oh, oh no, oh, where could it be? Oh, I had it with me all day. Oh, I must have left it someplace. I can't lead the parade without my hat, Mickey cried. The drum major's hat is special. It has such bright colors and it matches my uniform. I just can't lead the parade without it. Oh, I'll help you look, Minnie said. Oh, gosh, thank, thanks, Minnie, said Mickey. Come on, our last stop was Space Mountain. Oh, come on. Our last stop was Space Mountain, Minnie said, as they returned to Tomorrowland. And look who's that. That's the guy from the World of Tomorrow or the Carousel of Progress. Mickey and Minnie held on as the rocket swooped around one high-speed curve after another. Oh, wow, what a ride, said Mickey. But I don't see my hat. Mickey and Minnie found their friend Donald Duck at their next stop, the Grand Prix Raceway. Hmm, I haven't seen your hat, said Donald, but I just saw Goofy and he was wearing a new hat. Oh, thanks anyway, Donald, Mickey replied as his friend sped away. After Searching all over Tomorrowland, many suggested they explore Fantasyland. Soon, they were twisting and turning high above the castles, but they couldn't see Mickey's new hat from up there either. Mickey and Minnie saw several familiar faces at It's a Small World. Hi, said Daisy Duck. Don't you just love this attraction? Oh, oh yes, Minnie said. Then she told Daisy about Mickey's missing hat. Oh, I haven't seen it, Daisy said, humming along with the ride's catchy tune. But I heard Goofy got a new hat today. Hmm, said Mickey. Well, that's what Donald said. Next stop, Frontierland, Minnie said. Gee, oh, it would be fun to take a riverboat ride. Mickey said. Come on, Minnie said. We'll do that next time. For now, we had better check out Big Thunder Mountain Ro Railroad. Don't worry, Mickey. We'll find your hat, Minnie reassured him. Maybe we should check out the Haunted Mansion next, she said when they reached Liberty Square. Oh, you don't think one of the ghosts took it, do you? Mickey asked with a chuckle. Minnie laughed at Mickey's joke. Oh, I doubt it, she replied. Let's look in the Hall of Presidents. Hi, Mickey. Hi, Minnie, said Huey, Dewey, and Louie. They were all on Pirates of the Caribbean in Adventureland. Oh, hi, boys, Mickey said. Have you seen my hat? I lost it somewhere in the Magic Kingdom. Uh, nope, said Huey. But Goofy has a new hat, added Dewey. Yeah, it's really cool, finished Louie. Mickey was starting to wonder if he would ever find his new hat. Say, mister, the Jungle Cruise Guide said to Mickey, the animals are over this way. Mickey turned to the guide. Oh, sorry, I was just looking for my hat, he said. Minnie giggled. I sure hope the hippos didn't need it, she said. 
Did we go to Cinderella's castle today? Minnie asked. I can't remember. Oh, I wanted to, but we didn't have time, said Mickey. Gosh, Minnie, where could that hat be? Oh, I just can't leave the parade without it. Well, I know where we'll find it, Mickey. Oh, I know we'll find it, Mickey. We still haven't checked Main Street, USA, Minnie reminded him. Mickey and Minnie went from shop to shop on Main Street, but they couldn't find Mickey's hat anywhere. There was only one more place to look, the movie theater. Mickey was ready to give up his search. Just then, then they spotted their friend Goofy. Oh, my hat, Mickey cried. Oh, this is yours, Goofy exclaimed. Oh, gosh, I had no idea. I found it in the movie theater. And this says Mickey Mouse in Steamboat Willie. Mickey got his hat back just in time. He wore it proudly as he marched in the big parade. It was the perfect ending to another wonderful day at Walt Disney World. Good night. I love you.